President Bush is Dr. Trita Parsi, a Middle East specialist at Johns Hopkins University. Let me just start off, r right off here, because I've seen the letter. Is this perhaps a new phenomenon, stunt diplomacy? Well, I think obviously it can have the impact of trying to delay any actions that are going to be taken in the Security Council, but we shouldn't belittle this either because in 25 years the two countries have not officially communicated and at this stage the Iranians have increasingly sent signals to the United States saying that they want to have talks in order to be able to resolve the nuclear issue as well as many other of the problems that the United States is having with Iran. All right, uh, we want to go down, I want to go down through some uh uh, different elements in this. Here's a quote from it. Would not your administration's political and economic standing have been stronger? And I'm sorry to say, would there have been an ever-increasing global hatred of the American government? Well, I think when we're taking a look at this letter, I think we should not have the expectation that the Iranians are sending a letter to capitulate. They're sending the letter because they want to negotiate. No, no, wait a minute, and but have you read the letter? I've read parts of the letter. All right, yes. well, I've read the letter, and it's a lecture. Oh, absolutely. I think once we start talks with Iranians, there are going to be lectures on both sides. The key thing is this, though. For the last two and a half years, as we have had no negotiations and no American participation in the negotiations with Iran, have we been able to achieve our objective of non-proliferation? Have we been able to stop the Iranians from putting gas into the centrifuges? Have we been able to, uh, to prevent them from enriching uranium? The problem is that during these two and a half years that the United States has not participated in the talks, the Iranians have been able to proceed with their program. We need to do something to make sure that they don't get the nuclear technology and, and nuclear weapons capability. And the current policy that is pursued has not been able to achieve that. But th there's nothing in the letter that says, it's not even an invitation to sit down and discuss things, really. I, I mean, let me, here's towards the end of it, and I was really, as I read through it, I was really expecting to see something where there would be that kind of an invitation. We need to sit down and talk. Instead, uh, we're back to the lecture, and he wrote this. Liberalism and Western-style democracy have not been able to help realize the ideals of humanity. Today, these two concepts have failed. How much longer then, well, he goes on and, and uh, he poses a lot of questions, but here, I mean, he's, he's basically questioning the whole ideal uh, of democracy. And I think most of the people of the world, including most Iranians, would completely disagree with him. But here's the thing. We are facing a country right now, Iran, that is aggressively pursuing a nuclear uh, technology that we believe they should not be having because it could be a threat to the international order and the international security. But are we taking the right measures to be able to prevent that? A lot of people are saying that if the United States had joined talks with Iran and the Europeans two and a half years ago, they would not be enriching uranium today. Now, does this mean that we need to like this guy that we're talking to? Absolutely not. In fact, we will probably not end up talking to him at all. If there's going to be any negotiations, it will probably be with Ali Lari Johnny, that is the National Security uh, Council advisor in Iran, and who is the person who is conducting the nuclear negotiations. The point is, we are not reaching a solution by not talking. For 25 years, none of the objectives that we've had with Iran have been achieved, precisely because of the fact that we have not been willing to negotiate. And now we're reaching a position in which increasingly we're hearing voices from the okay. international community saying there should be direct negotiations or multilateral negotiations with Iran and the United States. I, I still have to go back to the original question. I mean, uh, stunt diplomacy. I mean, this, the letter doesn't appear to be an attempt to join in. It appears to be something that he wants read by his own people, by his own conservative supporters in Iran. And I would probably agree with that, but we also have to keep in mind that the supreme leader in Iran, the highest Ayatollah, came out a couple of weeks ago and endorsed talks with the United States. And the Iranians agreed to talk to the United States about Iraq. And those talks have now been in increasingly um, um, postponed by the United States. All right. Point of the fact is, talks are needed, whether this letter is a useful letter or not. All right, I want to thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. For being with us uh, and talking a little bit about a very extraordinary letter. Thank you. Ahead on your world today, first, he's